Good morning. Good evening, everybody. I love Jesus. Yes. I'm Praise telling the Lord. you, there's nothing Thank like. Thank you, Lord. I love everything that He's done for me. I praise His holy name. Yes. And I've come here for no other purpose. Yes, Lord. To worship God. Yes. In spirit praise and in his truth. Holy name. Yes, Lord. And I'm going to try to read just a little bit about my subject that I want to try to speak some on today. And it's concerning this righteousness that God gave Abraham. Abraham believed God Yes. And that was accounted unto him for righteousness. And that, that's what I want to try, if the Lord will help me. I'm unable, brother, to, to do anything by myself. As Paul said, by myself, I know nothing. But by the Holy Spirit, brother, if He hands me a piece of bread, I'll take it and I'll feed the flock with it. Thank you, Lord. And brother, I'm going to read just a little bit now. And you, you brothers and sisters, pray. And it come to pass after those things that God did tempt Abraham and said unto him, Abraham, and he said, Behold, here, am, here I am. And he said, Take now thy son, thy only son Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Morah, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains, which I will tell thee of. And Abraham rose up early in the morning, and saddled his ass, and took two of his young men with him, and Isaac his son, and cleave the wood, and the burnt offering, and for for the burnt offering, and rose up and went into the place of which God had told him. Then on the third day Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place afar off. And Abraham said unto his young men, Abide you here with the ass, and I will, I and the lad will go yonder and worship, and come again to you. And Abraham took the wood, and the burnt for the burnt offering, and laid it upon Isaac his son, and he took the fire in his hand and a knife, and they went both of them together. And Isaac said unto his said unto Abraham, his father, and said, My father? And he said, Here am I, my son. And he said, Behold the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for a burnt offering? And Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went both of them together. And they come to the place where God had told him of, and Abraham built the an altar there, and laid the wood in order, and bound Isaac his son, and laid him on the altar upon the wood. And Abraham stretched forth his hand <laughs> and took the knife to slay his son. And the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here am I. And he said, Lay not thy hand upon the lad, neither do thou anything unto him. For now I know that thou fearest God, seeing thou hast withheld with 
not withheld thy, son, thy, thy only son from me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him a ram caught in the thicket by his horn. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering in the stead of his son. And Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh, as it is said in this day, in the mount of the Lord, it shall be seen. And brother, I'm telling you how the faith that Abraham had, brother. God said he counted that to him for righteousness, brother. Yes. Oh, great God of mercy this evening, children. Uh, I'm uh, telling you, uh, uh, brother, this faith, uh, uh, brother, that we preach, brother, uh, it's a righteousness, brother, uh, from Jesus Christ, yes, brother. Yes. Uh, when oh. God uh, saw, brother, uh, uh, it was time uh, uh, for his wife uh, uh, to come back to him. Uh, uh, brother, he sent uh, his only begotten son uh, into the world. Uh, uh, that whosoever yes. will yes. believe Praise in his Jesus. holy name uh, uh, can be Praise saved Jesus. from all sins, brother. Oh, uh, and brother, I'm uh, telling you, uh, uh, when Jesus uh, hung there on that cross, brother, uh, he hung there, brother, for six long hours. Uh, and brother, what? Uh, he had this like me and you, brother. He had feelings, brother. That's no wonder, brother, how much that our Savior suffered, brother. And he done it, brother, for all the human race. If they will only look to him and to be saved, brother. For there's no other name given under heaven, brother, whereby we can be saved, brother, only through and by the name of Jesus Christ. And, brother, when God raised him from the dead, brother, he gave him a righteousness, brother. Um, what I want to tell you about a little bit about this righteousness, brother. Now, I'm going to go over now into the little book of John. Uh, John wrote two or three little letters, brother, in the New Testament. And, brother, I want to tell you, John was a trying to show the people uh, how that you have eternal life, brother. And brother, I'm a telling you, he said, I write unto you concerning them that seduce you. And brethren, we've got men all over this world today, brother. In the last days, Jesus said, Many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. Brother, but he said, Take heed that no man deceive you by any means. And John said, I write unto you concerning them that seduce you. Now you listen, brethren, How, but that anointing, brethren, that we received in the beginning, uh, John said, it will remain in you. Yes. And you need not that any man teach you, yes. uh, but as the same anointing, brethren, will teach you and bring all things to your mind, uh, whatsoever Jesus has said, brethren. And brethren, he said, if you know that he is righteous, uh, and you know 
that everyone that doeth righteousness is born of him. Yes. I mean, I'm telling you, brother, I got to know Jesus, or Jesus found me, brother. I'm telling you, brother, December the 26th, 1961, brother, is when that righteousness of Jesus Christ, brother, that was shed abroad in my heart, brother. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Brethren, I saw that evidence, brethren. It shined all around me, brother. Uh, brother, you can look out here and you can see the evidence of the wind blowing, brethren, but you cannot see it. And brethren, you can't see love, brother, but you can feel the evidence yes, of it, brother. And brethren, I'm a telling you, when God shed that righteousness, brethren, into my heart, brethren, I rejoice with joy unspeakable, brethren. And brethren, this is the part that I want to try to get over to you, brethren. In the beginning, brethren, Adam and Eve, brethren, they transgressed God's law. And God said, in the day that you eat that, you shall surely die. Yes. And brethren, he has brought death upon the whole human family, brethren. How my heart bleeds, brethren, for them. And I'll turn being deceived, brethren, by these false prophets. Brethren, I'm telling you, your souls are dead in trespasses and sins, just like Adam, brother, put us all in. And brother, you need to hear, you need to fear God. You, you must fear God. Brother, if you don't fear God, you'll never get saved. Amen. You've it's got hard. to fear God. You've got to know that He is and that He is a rewarder of them that you seek Him, brother. And brother, if you will come to this thought and realize, go and ask yourselves, am I a child of God? Can I just turn over a new leaf and go on and work myself into heaven? Brethren, that's what they're preaching today. I'm telling you, children, if you don't know that you're going to, you've got eternal life now, I want you to listen to this. Your soul is dead in trespasses and sins, and brethren, it takes Jesus Christ's blood had to cleanse your soul, brother. You cannot get saved, brother, in no other name, brother. Amen. There's only one name, brother, has given that God has sent His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, brother. There's no other name given under heaven whereby, brother, we can be saved only through and by the name of Jesus Christ. And brother, I'm a telling you, when God raised him from the dead that morning, brother, I'm telling you, brother, he come out of that grave. Yes. And brother, he brought them souls that he went back and preached to while he was in the grave, brother. And he brought them out of the tombs, brother, and graves were open over there. Brother, they was an earthquake took place over there. And brethren, I'm a telling you, them souls come out of them graves, brethren, and went into that holy city. And brethren, I'm a telling you, I'm a telling you, brethren, uh, God is a love, brethren. God is a spirit, and God seeketh such to worship Him in spirit and in truth. Amen. And brethren, Whenever you, when God sees fit to call you into repentance, He's going to put His law in your heart. And brethren, you're going to know that law is going to bring all of your sins to your mind. And brethren, if you'll endure to the end of that travail, brethren, and at the end of it, brethren, there'll be charity with faith unfined. 
poured out into your soul. And brother, that's the way you've got to come to God. You've got to come to God with a broken heart and a contrite spirit. Let no man deceive you by any means. Read your Bible, brethren. If you don't understand nothing about it, keep right on reading it, brethren. When you start, don't look back, brethren. Just keep right on praying and asking God to give you understanding how to repent and be born again. Because children, I'm telling you, in these last days, I can see it all over the world. Brethren. This flood that Satan has cast out of his mouth trying to get to the church, brethren. But God has got a few scattered all over the world, brethren, that has never bowed their knees to the image of Baal and has never kissed him. That's what he told Elijah there. God has got 7,000 men has not bowed their knees to Baal and nor kissed him. And brethren, this faith, this righteousness that I want to try to get to you. And John said, if you, this, 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 right, that, 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 that anointing that you was anointed with at the beginning abideth in you. And you need not that any man teach you but as the same anointing teaches you of all things and is truth and is no lie. And even as he has taught you, you shall abide in him. And brethren, if you know that he is righteous, you know that everyone that doeth righteousness is born of him. And brethren, that's about as all that I can go for right now. This righteousness, brethren, by faith in Jesus' name, will lead you to the throne of grace, brethren. And brethren, when you come down humble as a little child and repent fully, brethren, brethren, when you come to the end and God sees fit, He'll pour out His Holy Ghost baptism and baptize your soul into the body of Christ. And brethren, I'm telling you, when you get that baptism of the Holy Ghost, you won't have to go and ask your mommy or your daddy or your friends, have I been born again? God said they'll all know me from the least unto the greatest. God will he'll make you to know, brethren, that you have eternal life. And brethren, this is what we've got to do now. After that you've been born of the Holy Spirit of God, brethren, the vessel of God is in us. That's the time, brethren, we can cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh, brethren, and to walk after God, brethren, and let God have His holy way in our lives, brethren. Called brother, one of these days, and I don't think it's going to be very far off, brother. I'm going to see my Savior, brother, in whom my soul loves. Have you seen Him? Oh, the old prophet said, "Have you seen Him, whom my soul loves?" And brother, I'm telling you. I saw something there that night, brethren. Not with these eyes, brethren, but by eyes of faith. I saw that righteousness, brethren, that was poured out into my soul there that night, children. I'm a telling you, if you haven't got that baptism of the Holy Ghost, children, can they get yourselves out of these churches and, and get down on your knees if it's not too late and cry out to God and call upon Him with all your mind and ask God, oh God, show me the way and oh God, let us go down to the river and pray. Brother, I just love that old song that sister sings. Let's go down to the river and pray. And brother, I'm telling you, when you, if you don't know for sure that you have been born of the Spirit of God, 
get yourself back out there in the field and get down on your knees and start crying out to God. Yes. Oh God, show me in a way that I can understand how that I have eternal life. Brethren, you've got to get it here. You ain't going to get it over yonder, no. brother. Brother, if you come up before Jesus Christ and the blood has not been applied to your soul, oh. it's only going to say, Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never know you. Oh. And brethren, I'm telling you, this righteousness that I have, that the Lord has showed me, I want to give it to you. I want the whole world to see and understand this, that your soul is dead in trespasses and sins. And brethren, you need that baptism of the Holy Ghost, brethren, at Jesus' blood. That is the righteousness, brother, that God gave His Son Jesus when He raised Him from the dead. And whosoever will, will believe on His holy name, brother. You can be saved with a salvation that you won't have to go and ask anybody about. You'll know it for yourself and not another. And brother, I'm, I'm going to give away right here and let Brother Keith come on and uh, preach a while for us. I hope you will. I want to hear it. So I'm just going to say amen and God bless you.